it's been well documented, I think, in these videos about how when I turn my Jeep off and turn it back on, it with this say came, which I generally like pretty well, it does not immediately go back to Google Play Music, which is my preferred uh, interface. So I'm getting ready to go in store, and we'll see what happens when I turn this key off now. Key is out. Radio's going off. And now when I come back in, hopefully it will jump right to Pandora. Alright, so back in the Jeep. Okay, here, gonna start it up. And boom, it goes right to Pandora. No touching needed. Now there's an annoying thing with Pandora where sometimes it won't immediately see the Wi-Fi. And it'll say it's not online. See, it says offline. But, I guess it's working though. It's yeah, no, it's working. I don't like that song. I'm gonna thumbs down that song. But yeah, so, alright, so the problem clearly is a Google problem. At least a Google on this head unit problem. So, I'll figure that out. Or, I may just try the Malay Scrum, but... Anyhow, that's pretty cool. Alright, so... Still got my Saycane S18JP25, something like that. Now, uh, this is Automate with Google Play Music, as you can tell up here. And I've made multiple comments and multiple videos about how annoying it is that Google Play Music doesn't just automatically resume after I turn my Jeep off. Uh, so, with this Automate, Automate kind of rips off uh, Google. Uh, Android Auto, right? So it's kind of cool looking. Uh, this temperature's way off. It's not that cold. It's cold, but it's uh, so it's 13 degrees according to the Jeep. And here it says it's negative 13 degrees. So unless that dash isn't supposed to be there, that can make sense. But my watch says it's 10 degrees. I don't know where that weather's coming from. I mean, even if you up, if you hit that button that says refreshing. But it doesn't. Anyhow, uh, so as I've noted, noted numerous times, Google Play Music is my preferred music option. But it has a pretty ugly interface. So it looks pretty good on Automate. Uh, but, like I said, when I turn the Jeep off and come back in, it has closed Google Play Music during sleep. I have to relaunch it and I get that blinding white screen that just sears my eyeballs. I don't want to do that. So we're going to try. Pandora, right? Uh, and I'll give a little over to, overview of Pandora on this head unit because it works pretty good. So there is a blinding white Pandora screen when it first launches, but it wasn't launched already. And that is unpleasant. It's 6 31 a.m. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. All these New Year folks. Uh, All right, so. One. So this little button, this little widget is a floating icon here is to get back to the automate screen. This is the general um, Pandora screen, so it looks pretty good. You got your thumbs down and up. You can put plus to add to your list. You have your album artwork. You have a nice screen, a nice uh, play button here. You have your little three dot menu that lets you choose more options, right? I'm filming this on my LG V20. I'm hoping it does a better job of filming than my previous phones did. Alright, and then you have this little eye button here that takes you to the station settings, right? So, uh, I made a station based on Kid Rock's uh, American Badass. I really, this, I really wanted this great show on Earth song, but I couldn't get it to come up, so. I don't know, but this is the, this song's pretty fantastic. Uh, I'm not really a huge rock guy. Usually I'm more rap, but either way, we're not here to discuss my music preferences. Come on. We're here talking about Pandora. So, uh, here's what we're going to try. We're going to not go to the screen. We're going to go to the automate screen. And, and of course, it's not. All right, let's try this again. Go back to Pandora. So that's the problem with uh, some of the playlists. There we go. Alright, so 
now we have Pandora shown in Automate. So you kind of have to have songs playing that goes there. And you see it changes this to blue, and then you have this giant album artwork, which is kind of cool. It's a little blurry. Like, the album artwork's not clear, which is not... I prefer it to be look a little more crisp. But that's not bad. Alright, so now... Uh, I want to turn the Jeep off, go in the gym. And I'm definitely... Absolutely not going to walk on the treadmill at a leisurely place, pace for 40 minutes while listening to Howard Stern. I'm going to just lift tons of weights, take a sip of coffee. I'm going to get in peak physical position. Peak physical condition. Alright, 634, 10 degrees. I'm going to turn the Jeep off. Oh yeah, so it, when you turn the lights on, it just dims and brights up. So like on regular Android Auto, it goes from this dark screen to a light screen. But I'm kind of glad because I prefer the dark screen. Man, that's one problem with Google Apps. Alright, so this is Automate with Pandora. I'm going to turn the G on the Seikane S18 JP 25 I think that's the right model number. I'll have the inscription, of course. I'm going to turn the Jeep off now. And when I come back from working out, in theory, I should start the Jeep up and it should go right back to the screen. So all I gotta do is press this button to play my music. Alright, keys are out. Power is going off. There we go. Alright, that's just remote started. It is 7.34, same day, January 4th. 8 degrees, it's dropped 2 degrees, which is unpleasant. Starting the Jeep up. We're wanting to go to Pandora. Uh, so that's automate starting and that's my old change notification. No, so it didn't launch Pandora. Well that could be automate causing the problem. No, well. Let me just exit. I might uninstall auto meet. Or I'll leave it in. Yeah. Alright, so Pandora didn't auto launch neither. So it's still here on this. Well. Yeah, so this is not what I want to happen. I don't want these apps to have to launch after sleep. Because then look, we're a good minute. And then there's that blinding white screen. Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely not what I want to happen. Alright, so I'm going to uninstall Automate. <clears throat> Where is it? Oh, it's on the home screen. That's what it is. Alright, I'm gonna uninstall Automate. Put my little trash can guy. Alright, so now. There's a interesting thing. AccuWeather seems to be staying. That was my initial problem. Let me move Pandora and Waze to my. Alright. And now let's move Pandora over here. And then he leaves in Google Maps. So we're going to try this one. So now, <clears throat> we're going to, I'm going to test this again. Stains on here. And I'm just going to turn the Jeep off. 
close the door and we'll see if it returns or not. Open the door, I guess. It's super cold out there. Alright, close the door. Gonna restart. And we'll see if it jumps back to. Yeah, so that's brutal. I don't want that H cream pop up. Alright, well. Songs. All right, so let's just get an overview of Pandora here, right? So, here's your feed. I don't know what that is. I don't use this stuff. All right, uh, you go to settings. See your account. Uh, device activation, privacy, notifications. So. You know, your standard settings here. Now advanced is what we're looking for. Uh, your screen will dim to save battery while you listen. I don't care about that. Uh, enable messages. Don't want that. Auto launch, I do want. I do want that. Audio quality. So these is where I want these all high, right? Because I got T-Mobile data, doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, so that's what we want. We want that downloads on cellular, that's right. We don't want to reset our downloads. We don't want to remove all of one down. All right, so let's go. Nope. All right, so I don't know how to get back to the... Alright, so if I wanted to browse, and you can see all the feature playlist. Let's say I want to search for an artist. Uh, it's a local kid. It's going to get pretty successful. Let's see if he's in here. Jack Harlow. Yep, there he is. So, uh, let's just start and track our little radio. So, I add the station, just like on the phone. You can see yeah. your. You can give it a thumbs up. Uh, the plus is grayed out because he probably is not rights for that song. Well, that makes sense. Like I said, you can go here, you can see the song, the time, you can go to the artist, you can go to the station, you can start the station, you can share it. Uh, you go to the artist, that's where I already was, the show is on tour. You can see some of the songs are available, it's only five songs available. Uh, that's weird to see it's a new album now. Alright, so let's try someone else. Let's search for uh, Russ. Alright, so let's. Let's see what that's like. So you can, you can see the standard searches here. Uh, not a lot here. Alright, so let's search for Russ. Alright, so he's a big artist guy, right? So let's uh, narrow down by Russ the artist. Go to his albums. Wolf one, right. and Wolf one, all these singles. That's good. Got a list of songs. That one I've added to my music before. It came up on the playlist, so I'll hit the plus sign and add it there. That's good. Alright, so then we can play Rush Radio. Let's just see how that goes. Alright. So there the plus sign is good. So, right, so now, uh, let's say I like this song, I'll give it a thumbs up. I can get the plus sign and it adds it to my music. 
And so we'll play it again. And let's just say I wanted to use the steering wheel controls to change sums. I hit up to change it, and there we go to a new sum, right? And the background color changes with it. So that's pretty good. And so this one, they should have the rights to, so I should be able to replay it. So this part doesn't work, but let's try this. Yeah, there you go, and it starts the song over. So that's good. Alright, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, so I'm on Rush Radio, and this uh, Khaled came up, I don't know how you pronounce his name. But I can download that individual song, I can share, I can add it to my playlist, or I can go to his station. Alright, and yeah, so you got the whole... So it works pretty good. On my other Seikane Pandora, it was pretty ugly. Uh, this Seikane, the S18 JP25, I think that's right. It's the Android 7.1.2 PX3 unit. Uh, MTCD PX3. It seems to be pretty much the same as on my phone. So, that's pretty good. Right, so you can just go to anything here. And with, I have the paid version. So, you can, like, say, if I wanted to just pick a random song and play it, it should play. Whereas, like, the old Pandora. It's a cool little interface. I like that. And then... Here's a weird thing, a little bit of a bug. So instead of the plus sign, it's showing the check mark already. But I don't think I've added this on to my play any of my list, but now so watch. So it still works like it should, but it shows the check instead of the plus. So if I want to now edit See, now it added it, even though instead of having plus and check. I think it should be a plus, not check, but uh, that's a livable. But now it's kind of grayed out, so you can see I've already done it. So it uh, works out right there. All right, and if you want to go, I've been a Pandora subscriber on and off for a long time. So I have just tons of. So here's my recently played. You can go through my stations, right? And then if I want to see all my stations here, you can just see everything that I've added over. Uh, these are songs, these aren't stations. Um, all right, so that's all, let's not say all, let's see my stations, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> so here's the radio stations I've created or added from songs, whatever, right? So. And you can see that little green arrow means I've downloaded something, right? So like the little green arrow, I've downloaded that station. Uh, so, the, all right, so this uh, American Badass has been downloaded, so Jack Harlow hasn't been downloaded. So let's just pick one. I'll pick Jack Harlow, right? So let's just play this station. <laughs> I like this song. I like this unreal. So let's go to the info, and I'm going to go to station settings, and I'll make this more, and here, yeah, the download arrow, right? So now I'm downloading this. Uh, it didn't really specify if it was going to the standard memory or the, the standard memory or if it was going to uh, the micro SD card. So I assume it's just going into the standard memory, which is fine because I just got 16 gig and I'm not using anything else. Everything I can, I go with the micro SD card. So I'm just concerned with the audio quality. So I want to download it so I don't have any stutter or anything like that. Uh, and I'll just edit this. I can change the name, right? If I want to change it um, from Jack Harlow name to something else, right? So that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know there's <clears throat> much else. It's pretty self-explanatory for Pandora. The more, more uh, thing I was trying to show here is that it looks the way it looks on this AK head unit. So, this time it didn't work when I turned the Jeep off and turned it back on, but I've had it work before. I still think that automate may be causing some problem. I'll try to, uh, this is really ugly. 
<laughs> so I'll just try to keep an eye on it and see how it works. Um, this is on the December update of the system software. I'm going to try a couple other software tweaks, but in general, I'm pretty happy with Pandora on this head unit. Uh, like I said, I do have a data stream, but <clears throat> if you don't have a consistent data, you could do this offline mode, I guess, download your stuff, assuming you have the paid version, the premium version like I have. All right, uh, so that's a short, sweet uh, overview of Pandora on the Seiking. And just again, so you can see, and that button, and then we go, see, change the colors as you go through. <clears throat> I don't know what this guy is. All right, so I'll check it out, and uh, all right, any questions? I'm going to try to do some shorter videos on individual applications, so like, uh, here's Pandora, I'll probably do one on Spotify, and uh, just how they perform on these head units, because... And sometimes it can be a little weird, like if, I don't think I made a video, but Pandora was pretty ugly on the old CK, and it didn't really work right. <clears throat> it worked, but the, the icons and stuff were small, and it was hard to use on the screen. Alright, <clears throat> alright, so, uh, here we go. Pandora gets the thumbs up, that's what you're looking for. And, yeah, leave me, you want, is there something specific you want to see? Leave it in the comments, I'll try it out. Unless it's something dumb. I'm not gonna try that. But uh I'm probably gonna try Slacker, Spotify, and who knows what else. Alright. There you go. Alright, so later on same day, 121, January 4th, 17 degrees. Uh I got my Jack Harlow radio station going on Pandora. The Ritz song is up. I'm going to run uh, inside the store for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and we'll see if this song comes back to this point. Right? Turn the Jeep off. It's going to power off. There we go. Alright, so on my LG V20, I'm a little... Down there. All right, so we're going to uh, check it out. See how it works. Hey, right, it's two twenty. Came out of the store. Get ready to give a shot and see if Pandora comes up. Boom. Yeah, so I thought automate might have been the problem. Because my old change light, Pandora. There you go. Still got that blinding white light. Don't care for. But. I don't know what the hell that is. I was trying to play. Uh, let's see. Alright, so. It takes a second to connect to the Wi Fi. But it starts playing music when as soon as you get back in. I don't know what that song is. I don't know if I like it or not. Either way. Uh, so yeah, that's the good point here is that it clearly comes right back on. So the problem with is a Google Play Music uh, issue, not not uh, the head unit issue, right? And... Let's see what offline does. Yes, yeah, so offline mode just shows your available downloaded songs. Well, let's just try playing it and see what it plays. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so it still plays your music. It just has the offline mode bar there. That's fine. So yeah, for those of you that don't have a constant data connection, it's a good way. It should work just fine like that. All right, so Pandora is kind of a win on this uh, Seiking S18 JP25 or something like that. All right, there we go. All right, so next day, 
629 a.m. 10 degrees. Unpleasant trees. Alright, so I'm getting ready to go in the gym again. And that's one thing to notice that uh, it's super cold. You know, 10 degrees. You can see there. There's even a uh, on AccuWeather. That's super bright. There's even a uh, special weather statement that the wind chills below zero, right? So, and there's no problem with the cane It's working, so the cold weather doesn't seem to be phasing it. It's updating apps. It's playing. So I installed Automate. This guy's sticking around. Uh, but I had to manually hit this little swirly guy to make it update the temperature. But that's not what we're here talking about. Pandora. Alright, let's play it again. Alright, so I got paused on this screen. I'm going to turn the Jeep off, go into the gym, take a drink of coffee. And then, when I come back, and I start the Jeep, hopefully, it jumps back to the screen. So we have Automate removed. I'm on the December system update from uh, XDA. And all my apps are updated, so we'll see how it goes. I'm just using the stock launcher at this point. I have a hard time focusing here at night. There we go. Alright, we'll give it a shot. Gonna turn the Jeep off. Keys out. Power it off. Boom. Alright, back in the Jeep. It's running. Stereo's not on. Did remote start. Now I'm gonna turn the key on. See if it go back to Pandora. Boom. There we go. It probably won't go the same song, but. We're looking at, you know, 20 seconds to get the song playing, maybe. Still got that blinding white screen I'm not crazy about. Yeah. Oh, I like that song. Alright, so. It's not perfect. But pretty good. You know, the, the goal here was to replicate what you would get in the standard old school CD player. You get in the Jeep, turn it on, suddenly music's playing. With Pandora, you have about a, it's not the same song, of course, but you got about a 20 second delay before the music kicks in. That's not bad. I can live with that. Uh, so, I'll try Spotify next. The Google Play Music, you know, it's a little more labor intensive. It's hard work getting that up running, so it just takes longer, uh, which I don't have the patience for. So, Pandora gets the uh, thumbs up, just like Sunreal, and uh, we'll try again with uh, Spotify and maybe even Slacker. <laughs>